Hey guys, Nostalgic Dan here, back again for a new episode of Nostalgia Trip. Now, as cliche as it might be to use the phrase back in my day, I think it's certainly applicable here. But back in my day, we certainly didn't have easy access to the internet. Heck, I didn't have the internet until like late high school or around there. But man, it's kind of crazy to think that kids nowadays will grow up in a society where they have access to the internet within like middle school and as early as elementary. But I digress. Now in the modern gaming era, we are very spoiled nowadays because we have easy access to stuff like gameplay footage, trailers, reviews, news, etc. at our fingertips. Now gaming over a decade ago was quite different and it was really hard to come by gaming info back then and we really didn't have a whole lot to go off of. Really the most reliable source of gaming info for me and many others back then were gaming magazines and simple word of mouth. And one thing I really loved was gaining that valuable info on those secret and mysterious cheat codes for my favorite games. And that's where these bad boys come into play, Tips and Tricks magazines, a classic part of my youth. Are you guys ready for a nostalgia trip? Ah, Tips and Tricks magazine is a classic part of my youth. There's just something really special about cheat codes. The discovery of a cheat for your favorite game was a mysterious yet exhilarating moment. What cheats entailed came in a wide range of forms from unlockables to game breaking hilarity. I could go on about cheat codes, but I think that's another topic for another video. Now as I mentioned before, it's important to remember the context of why a magazine dedicated to solely cheats was kind of important with regards to the era. This was an era where I couldn't just look up info and cheats on the internet. I found out about cheats from word of mouth from friends and tips and tricks magazines. Now there were plenty of other code books and cheat code mags along the way, but tips and tricks is the one publication I remember very fondly from my youth. Now a little history about the magazine itself. Tips and tricks is actually a broad in spin-off of a segment from another magazine, the video games and computer entertainment magazine, which ran from the late 80s to mid 90s. Tips and tricks was a monthly publication with the first issue being released in 1995 and ending in 2007. The magazine was published by LFP Incorporated who actually are better known for their um, ahem, adult entertainment magazine publications, the things you learn while researching. Well, the more you know, I guess. Now, the magazine itself was very different from other gaming magazines at the time. Instead of having a focus on reviews, previews, and gaming news, it was more focused on guides, cheats, easter eggs, and gaming lifestyle. Now let's go through the typical structure of the magazine. A typical tips and tricks magazine featured many various segments, with the main highlight being pages upon pages of cheats and secrets. One of the first segments you came across in the magazine was the reader tips, which is where readers ask general questions and the magazine staff would do their best to answer. Some of these questions are actually rather entertaining. Moving on, you had various mini strategy guides for recently released games, and although the magazine didn't have a focus too much on upcoming game news, they did offer select game previews and a bite size fashion. Of course, littered throughout the magazines were many gaming ads. Regardless of the magazine, this is easily one of my favorite parts of flipping through any retro game magazine. Seeing some of these ads invokes an instant sense of nostalgia, which I absolutely love. But of course, the main core of the magazine was the body, which consisted of dozens and dozens of pages of just cheat codes, secrets, and easter eggs for many recent games. The cheats were organized by system and in alphabetical order. Man, I used to love going to the magazine section and taking a flip through the most recent tips and tricks. Looking to see if they had cheats for some of the games I recently purchased or was playing, and I may or may not have just wrote stuff down sometimes from the magazine without actually buying it. I know I'm terrible, but to counteract that guilt, I would actually buy some of the magazines here and there. The Chico section was nothing visually special, but the info was really all you needed, and it certainly provided that and in great detail. In these pages, they also featured various tidbits at the bottom of the pages, like showcasing reader art, which I thought was a really nice touch. Many of the cheats I learned and used in my youth were mostly from these glorious pages. After the main cheat section, there were also pencil puzzles, which gave you coordinates and grids showing you what to fill in, and they would ultimately make a full image of some character. I actually never did these too much back then, but what the heck, let's fill one in for fun and see what we get. Cue time lapse. The 
back of the magazine featured various other segments as well, but the segment I really loved was Collector's Closet, where they talked about various unique collecting news and tips. And one of my favorite parts of the whole mag besides the cheats was in the Collector's Closet segment, and that is The Room of Doom, which was a wonderful user showcase of impressive video game collections. A young me saw these images and just drooled in awe and thought to myself, man I hope to have a collection like that someday. These images really inspired me from a young age, and little did I know I would have my very own Room of Doom over a decade later. Another favorite segment of mine was tucked away in the back, and that's the Japan Report. When I was young, I didn't really have much exposure to import gaming and culture. These couple of pages gave a young me a dose of something strange and unfamiliar, but yet piqued my interest so much. Seeing these oddities from across the globe was really awesome. And that's your typical tips and tricks magazine. These magazines, among many other gaming mags, really impacted me and my gaming youth. Having access to so many cheats and error where computers were just finding their way into more homes and the internet was coming into its own was absolutely invaluable. Cheat codes were just so awesome to me and they really harkened to simpler days of gaming. So that'll do it guys for my nostalgic look back at tips and tricks. A unique yet important part of my gaming youth. I hope you guys enjoyed taking this trip down nostalgia lane with me. And until next time, please take it easy guys. Bye guys.